about why I started Ray of Sunshine, like the story behind it. So I guess it all kind of started when I took a pottery class back in college. Yeah, like it was a couple months ago. <laughs> but I absolutely loved it. So it was very therapeutic and I loved the lessons that I kind of learned from just shaping clay with my hands on a wheel. I thought that was so cool. But then as I was kind of coming towards the end of the class and the end of college, I realized that for me it might be kind of difficult wherever I might end up because I really didn't know what I was doing with my life. And quite frankly, I still don't know what I'm doing with my life. But wherever I ended up, I felt like it might be kind of difficult to have those resources. I um, was scrolling through Pinterest one day and I came across these earrings and they were kind of different, kind of cool. And I was like, well, I could totally make some of those. Um, why not? <laughs> I ordered clay online and I also didn't want to like spend a lot of money on it because I didn't know if I was going to like it. So I gathered up some of the things that I had around my house. Very basic setup at first. I actually went to the lab at my school and 3D printed some cookie cutter shapes to cut like uniform circles or squares. One night, I remember I really couldn't sleep. I was so excited to get my clay, which is so silly. As I was laying awake, I had this realization that I wanted to, to combine some of my passions. I'm really, really passionate about photography and storytelling, and I'm also really passionate about making something that is useful and that matters. I thought like, okay, well, how can I use those things all in one or like find something or create something that had all of those aspects to it. And so that's kind of like what made me think of creating earrings based off of people. I first started with my roommates at the time and um, another friend who really encouraged me from the very beginning, the uniqueness, the qualities, the beauty that I saw in them. After I made them, we went on a little fun little photo shoot which was so, so, so cool. I loved, I loved just reveling in the time that I had with them and the story that they had to share, as well as being able to show the beautiful uniqueness of who they are as they are um, in, in photography and, and something that I made was so cool. That was kind of like the start and then as I was thinking more about like continuing to to create, I thought that this would be so cool to be able to create something that gives me the flexibility and the freedom to do some things that I really love to do, like travel or work whenever I want, wherever I want. Yeah, so that's been really cool. It's not really like super sustainable <laughs> right now, but that's okay. It's a really fun way for me to be able to delve into that creative side. Something that I really never thought that I had. As well as being able to connect with people, share their stories through social media, connect with other people through social media, and through this... Um, it's really interesting, really different. So for me, Ray of Sunshine is more than just creating earrings to sell on Etsy, on Instagram. It's more than just um, going to craft shows and uh, having like a little pop-up shop wherever and selling like that. A lot of that stuff takes a lot of work and a lot of like putting myself out there that I never would have thought I would do. But for me, Ray of Sunshine means uh, an opportunity to connect with people, to get to get to know them more, get to share their stories, get to share their their incredible uniqueness and beauty 
with the world because I feel like we don't take enough time to really get to know people in that way. So that's why you just investing in me, whether that be with your time, whether you're just following me because you <laughs> had to for a giveaway, even if it's like buying a pair of earrings or two or three, I value all of your support. Really, truly don't feel like I would be here without you guys. So thank you for, thank you, truly, for that. I feel so blessed and so humbled to have the opportunity to delve into something like this that is really meaningful to, to me and hopefully meaningful to other people. Yeah. I hope that This is all in focus. We'll see. I don't know. Um, but I hope that this finds you well, that it resonates with you a little bit, and I hope that it inspires you to pursue something that maybe you're holding back from because I think that you have incredible potential. Um, stay tuned for more fun stuff. <laughs>